Columbus Basin are the valleys of two rivers. In the north, the Sacramento. In the south, the valley of the San Joaquin. As the 20th century began, the watershed of San Francisco Bay, 16 rivers draining into the massive Central Valley before converging at the delta formed by the Sacramento and San Joaquin rivers, was undergoing a radical transformation. It would ultimately reduce the amount of fresh water reaching San Francisco Bay by half. In its historical time when it was and the upper parts of the estuary was all tidal freshwater marsh. It would have been this maze of channels with these spectacular, off as far as you could see, these tule marshes, extraordinary tule marshes, where these tules would all grow and die and be incorporated in the, what was then these organic soils, these phenomenal organic rich soils. When we reclaimed the delta, as we put up levees and drained all these marshes and started growing crops, we exposed those soils to oxygen. When they were low oxygen soils, there was, the organic breakdown was very slow. Once you expose them to oxygen, the organic breakdown is very, very fast. New set of microbes move in. And basically, roughly half of that organic material, which was accumulated over the last 5,000 years, went back into the atmosphere through oxidation. To compensate for subsidence, levees needed to grow higher as the land sank lower. Today, there are more than 1,100 miles of levees. Many fields are as much as 25 feet below sea level. What you're doing in the process of subsiding these lands well below sea level is creating an unstable condition, which wants to be transformed. And that transformation involves breaking of those levees and flooding of those islands. And the greater the subsidence, the greater the likelihood that that will happen. 